Since early 1995, I've had the privilege of being one of the first physicians in the world to have used hyaluronic acid-based fillers, such as Juvederm and Restylane. Since that period in time, I have injected and treated thousands of patients. Juvederm and Restylane are very similar in a way that they're made in a laboratory out of a product called hyaluronic acid, which is something that our bodies naturally produce. However, they are cross-linked and stabilized in a way that our body doesn't break them down very quickly. They can be used for filling anything from the eyebrows, nasolabial folds, correcting the crooked nose, making the lips fuller, or getting rid of the marionette lines, or just adding fullness to the face or anywhere on the body. Even cellulite can be treated with those fillers. Once injected, the product should last anywhere from six months to as long as indefinite, depending on how your body metabolizes it. Botox is a neuroblocker. What that means, it is a product which simply does not allow the muscle to contract, even when you want it to. So by injecting a person with Botox, uh, what will happen is that the muscle that are normally being used or contracted frequently stop contracting. So if one has crow's feet, those will simply disappear. If one has very heavy furrows in the, fore in the forehead or frown lines, those will disappear as well. Botox has multiple uses. And since the creation of Botox by Allergan, there have been many products created by many other companies. For example, Myoblock. There's also a Xeomin and there's Disport, all of which are similar except for Myoblock. Myoblock is actually a product which I frequently use in patients who do not respond to the other three products. Myoblock also works considerably faster, but it is unfortunately more expensive. And good things sometimes are more expensive, but they're worth it. So if one wants to look younger by very little of invasive procedures such as surgery, Botox and fillers may be the right procedure for you.